guys welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome my name is monica and today i'm doing an overview which includes a review a couple of looks and swatches with the new elf rose gold eyeshadow palette in sunset now elf does have a quite a few like a whole line of these like 10 pan eyeshadow palettes and they're each ten dollars here in the united states i don't know if you can get them outside of the united states but for me i get them for ten dollars i actually have an elf store not too far from me so i bought this within the elf store it should also be available online if i could find a link i'll go ahead and throw that down in the description box for you guys so I do have most of their like 10 pan palette line. There's one palette that I really don't think is worth it and the quality just really isn't there. But I'll get to that in a little bit. First, I just want to talk about how stunning the shade selection here in this palette is. You get 10 shades, you get four matte shades, and the rest are all shimmers. And I think they did a really good job of deciding which shades should be matte because I feel like that's a really difficult thing to get right in a palette because if you don't have the right matte shades, then you really can't utilize the full palette like on its own. You have to bring in like other palettes. Not to say that you need to use a matte in your crease or in your transition, but it can certainly help. When I first saw this palette, my first thoughts were this looks like fall. These shades, you've got some, I, this orange right here, the one in the middle, that's my favorite shade in this entire palette. I use that a lot in look number one. I really enjoy this palette. I think the shade selection was really good. I think this is a perfect late summer slash fall like everyday palette because I've used this for work looks. I've used this for I have a really big meeting today. This is what I'm wearing and I use this palette on my eyes today and I just I love the look. I didn't bring in anything else. The shimmer is from here. All the mattes are from here and one thing about these mattes is that they blend out beautifully. Beautifully. I didn't have any issues blending these out. They're super pigmented, which you'll see in the swatches. Overall, I think this is actually a really good palette and a great addition to their line. Before I compare this palette to the other e.l.f. palettes that I have, let's go ahead and jump into swatches of all the shades. So those are the swatches of all the shades, as you can see, very beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and compare this to a couple of the other palettes from e.l.f. that I have. This isn't part of their Mad for Matte line, which is a very famous line from them in the same kind of packaging. Okay, so from the Mad for Matte line, I have three of their palettes. I have the Holy Smokes palette, which looks just like this. I have the Mad for Matte 2, which I think is similar and would go really well with this palette just because you have a bunch of matte shades that are really like compatible with the Sunset palette. And then I also have the Mad for Matte Jewel Pop, which these orange, like this orange and these shades up here probably go really well with this palette, but the rest of the palette is really for those that love color. And again, this is very pigmented. Um, part of their, ooh, that just fell out. Okay, I was going to say a palette that I have that isn't from their Mad for Matte line. It's the Holy Smokes palette. It's like an everyday smoky eye palette, but one of my shadows just fell out. So I'm going to have to glue that back in, see if I can carefully hold that up. Um, but it's just a neutral, nice smoky palette. Um, no complaints here. It's just not going to be for everyone because, like I said, it's going to be a very smoky look that you're going to get out of this. You don't have a lot 
of light toned mattes to work with but they do have a nice mixture of mattes and shimmers in here so for those that love a smoky eye and love a great deal it's ten dollars and it really is a good palette if i were to rank all of these palettes that i have i believe i would do the mad for matte 2 because this is a great palette if you don't have it i would highly highly recommend that you try it out then i would go with the sunset palette like this is a really really good palette you got a mix of shimmers you've got a mix of mattes and you can just do a whole lot with this palette i would then go for the dual pop as being number three number four would be the holy smokes yep this is the holy smokes and then would be the everyday smoky but just because i don't tend to go for too smoky of an eye for every day considering my job but i mean it, it still is a good palette like i'm not saying like that's a terrible palette because it's in number five it it's a great palette that I don't reach for as often as I do the other palettes. I've also tried the, there's like a rose gold palette from e.l.f. I did enjoy that palette, but it is a dupe for the Naked 3. So if you did see my big eyeshadow palette declutter, I got rid of that one because I had the Naked 3 palette and I gave that to a friend of mine who's really, really enjoying it. The only palette from like their 10 pan line in this packaging that I don't like is the very, very first Mad for Matte. I don't know if I got a bad palette or if it was a bad batch, but that was very, very patchy. It didn't blend. It All the colors muddled together and it, it looked terrible. I tried to make the palette work. I used different primers. I used different setting powders to set it nothing worked with that palette so that one i just decluttered i might pick it up again i don't know in a few weeks or so just to see if i have the same experience with it because i really don't know if that's just the formula of their first palette and they were just trying to experiment and find what worked best for their formula because they've gone they've gotten a lot better since then and some of these palettes are you know on tier with my like higher end palettes Okay, so now that we've gone over the overview, gone through the swatches, and compared them to the other e.l.f. palettes, let's go ahead and jump into the two looks I created for this video. This is look number two. I'm really enjoying this one. I did love look number one, though, because I did get to utilize this beautiful, beautiful orange. So don't forget to let me know down below which look you like best, and let's jump into look number one.
So those are both of the looks. I hope you guys like them. I had a whole lot of fun playing with this palette. So overall, I think this is a great palette. It's really affordable. It's $10. Elf always has sales. So just sign up for their email list, sign up and you'll get coupons and you'll get notified whenever they have a sale. Because if you get this like on their half off sale, it's a steal. It really is a steal. Overall, I think it's a great addition to their line. I love their 10 pan palettes, like I said before. So if you're thinking about getting this palette, if the colors draw you in, if you're really into the like warm fall tones, and it's not like every other sunset palette out there. I have three other sunset palettes and I still have this one in my collection and think it's unique. So thank you so much for watching. Hope if you like this video, you'll go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video. And I hope I'll see you in my next one. Bye.